Hello Aries, thank you for joining me. It's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. Uh, this reading is going to look at the energies around the 25th to the 31st of May, um, but timing is fluid Aries, so it could resonate um, a little while uh, beyond that. Um, it, it's a general reading Aries, so it, it won't probably resonate with absolutely all of you. Um, but I do do personal readings, private readings, which do um, zone into your energy. So um, the information of how to get in touch with me is below this video. Um, OK, so let's see. I have done a, a pre-meditation. I have done a pre-shuffle with these cards. Um, so I'll just do a final shuffle and see what, see what the energies want to say. All right, I've got to be there. Can't argue with the cards. Okay, Aries, let's see what the um, the fairy oracle have to say to you for that time scale. So, at the heart of your reading, we have she of the Croash. She of the Crow Ash, um, this is a beautiful card to have right at the heart of your reading, Aries, because this this uh, shows that um, things are happening. Um, it's um, wanting you to um, open up your um, energy, your own energy, because the universe wants to send you down um, a lot of spiritual and healing energies. Um, so you can see this looks like um, it's got like a wine glass coming up, the stem coming up from the earth energies, opening up. And then we have coming down here, it's almost like um, the wings of a bird, if you like. So we've got the star energies coming down, filling the cup, um, filling the vessel. But we've also got what look like wings that are, are going upwards and opening up. Um, so a, a very um, energetic card, um, it's a beautiful card, it's about opening up to receive all that the, the universe wants to send down for you. Um, beautiful, lots, lots and lots of energy there, so lots of blessings coming down for you, lots of healing, um, lots of inspiration um, and lots of messages coming down. So this is right at the heart of your reading. Aries. So let's see what the challenges are. The challenges for you at this time are about emotions and it's about um, how we um, respond or react to um, the emotions, to events coming, coming in, to events happening in front of us, perhaps to um, communications um, happening around us or coming towards us. And remember, this is the time of the new moon in Gemini, which is all about um, how we communicate. Um, so, so this is quite um, an interesting card for to have for you in this challenge area, because the new moon in Gemini is all about um, the mind. It's about the Gemini's are deep thinkers, um, and they are, and they're the uh, people born under that sign um, there's a lot to do with communication whether they are great communicators or whether they are great listeners or, or a combination of both but they do think deeply about things so so this card um, because we're now in this this is the beginning of the new moon in, in Gemini it is happening tonight according to where you are on the planet so um, so the challenge for you is about communication and I think it's about how we um, react to people, whether we react or whether we respond in a measured way. So um, take a step back. Um, don't allow your emotions to dominate your communication with others. Um, take a step back and think about it before um, responding rather than reacting. So it's it is this 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 the challenge is about our emotions um for you aries 
and what that means for you. So your emotions um, at this time are a little bit of a challenge for you. All right. Okay. How we manage our emotions. So what what is that you can do at this time, Aries? Well, we've got the oak men. And the Oak Manor, is, this is about drawing on ancient wisdom. Um, if you look into the eyes of the Oak Man, they're a beautiful orange. They draw you in. Um, and orange is the colour of the sacral chakra, which is about uh, need, the energy centre to do with our needs and wants and desires. It's also to do with creativity. But this is asking you to draw right from the deep depth of your being draw from your roots if you like draw up the nourishment um, and your uh, sense of your intuition um, from deep within your being um, if, if, if you can draw on your ancestral wisdom um, think back to our, our, how our ancestors would have dealt with situations at this time so it's it's taking a step back, it's which is similar to the the emotion card, um, and just taking a step back and considering um, what the message are, messages are that are coming through for you um, from She of the Croash, and thinking about how how our ancestors would have um, dealt with the situations that are coming towards you at this time. So it's drawing on your inner wisdom, drawing on ancient wisdom. Slow down, take your time, there's no rush. And that's another message of the Oakman. There really isn't any rush um, to make decisions or to decide what um, is needed at this time or how to respond to a situation at this time. Remember, you've got lots of help coming down for you from the universal energies and from the earth spirit. Um, so be open to absorb those energies, Aries. So Iris of the Rainbow is something else that you can do at this time. So this is part of your personal power. So Iris of the Rainbow, this is about when a challenging situation is is coming to an end. So we have Iris of the Rainbow, she's sitting. Um, she is being given um, a rainbow in her hand by a cherub, and it's the end of the rainbow, but she is being put in her hand. And the message of this card is, there has been difficult times, and it, perhaps the, the difficult times, the difficult energies are still hanging around around you um, but they are gradually coming to an end because the rainbow comes out doesn't it when the dark rain clouds are starting to um, re retreat and then the sun comes out and we get that the beautiful rainbows don't we so the message of this card is we're not quite out of the woods yet there are still some dark clouds around however enough are retreating for the sun to start coming through and we and so we we've got the rainbow that is starting starting um to form all right so that's good news good news to look forward to good news to think about um we have some of the fairies here that are looking backwards looking to what's gone um looking to the situation that is perhaps still hanging around um and we've even got a fairy here that has got, uh, got an arrow with um, a bright rainbow colours on the arrow tip. And she's now, she's getting ready to shoot that arrow. And it's, and it's as if she wants to shoot the rainbow colours at the dark clouds to hasten them on their way. All right, Aries. Um, it's interesting how this reading is evolving. Now... In the outcome position, we have the piper, and the piper is about harmony, about the need to achieve harmony and balance around you and in your life at this time. So we have 
the this beautiful um, male furry um, or an elf. Um, I'm never sure what they all are. Um, if I can't see their wings, and I'm a little bit stuck. Um, but he's got this beautiful garland, um, a fruit garland on his head. Um, and he's playing panpipes. Um, and the panpipes, it's creating beautiful music. So he's creating an um, inner harmony. So it's why we, when we bring facets of ourselves together um, internally, so we, our, our emotions and our psyche... Um, our physical body, our mind. So bringing harmony in. But it's also about creating harmony around us. Um, uh, and, and certainly, when we feel more harmonious within ourselves, then we can't help but radiate that out and help others around us to feel um, in harmony. So it's about, you know, being in harmony with our surroundings as well whatever that means for you, Aries. But this is an important outcome for you. So if we if we just very quickly recap, we've got She of the Croash, which is about the energies are asking you to open up to receive all of the um, benefits from the universe and from the earth energies. Open up because they're being sent to you now. Um, the challenge is about how we manage our emotions. All right, so Aries... You know, sometimes you will feel emotional. Sometimes you will, you are a fire sign, so you may, you may want to react. Perhaps sometimes reacting in anger. Uh, but this is, you know, and so this is a challenge for you. And it's asking you to stay, step back um, and try not to react in anger because that doesn't do our own emotions and psyche any good. So just take a step back and think about things before we respond. That is a bit of a challenge for you. Draw on your ancient wisdom. Draw on your roots. Um, you know, think carefully. Um, how, how would our ancestors have dealt with certain situations? Um, and then, you know, the dark clouds are starting to disappear and we do have rainbows coming in now. Good fortune, good news and achieve looking for how we're going to achieve harmony whether it's listening to harmonious music or whatever the music is for you whether it's taking a bath a shower walk in the countryside um playing with our pets um spending quality time um, with people or communicating with people people that we love so harmony and then the final message that the universe wants to send to you it's another singer card it's the singer of initiation and the singer of initiation is saying that you 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 are going through or you've been through um, a period of lots of tests you're being tested in many ways um but um this it's that I, I always think of this card as like the apprentice card where we have to serve an apprenticeship. We have to do a lot of reading and learning, practical application. We're tested, aren't we? We have exams. Um, we have lessons. Um, and uh, before we then uh, take our exams, final exams, qualify, and then move on to, to be the professional that we've been uh, trained to, to, to be. So this single initiation is saying that you, you've, been, you've been going through quite a testing time. Um, but you're, you're passing with flying colours and you are going to be going up to um, the next level very successfully. And, and here we can see it's almost like a narrow shooting up. Um, so, so this is a lovely card to come as a final um, piece message or piece of advice from the universe and from the earth energies, from the fairy oracles, is that these difficulties you've been going through, it's almost like an, an initiation stage, which can be quite testing, can't it? can be quite difficult, painful um, to go through this. But you, you are and you, you're going to be passing with flying colours or you have passed with flying colours and qualifying and, and then, and then um, going up to the next level. Whatever that means for you, Aries, it will be something different for all of you. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining me, Aries. Please, if you've enjoyed it, please like and press the subscribe button for me, which is free, but it, you will be notified then with any future readings coming through. 
Um, good luck going forward, Aries. Please do join me again. Take care now. Bye-bye.